Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In today's video, I am going to discuss the diagnosis of myocardial infarction in the setting of left bundle branch block. Uh, and usually, a criteria is used uh, to identify the MI or the STEMI equivalent in the setting of left bundle branch block. And it applies not only to the left bundle branch block, but also the uh, right ventricular paced rhythm in which there is uh, broadened QRS complex or LBB which is uh, created due to the ventricular pacing. So as we know that the QRS complex is something like this in the lateral leads which includes leads 1, AVL, lead V5, and V6 and there are deep S waves followed by ST segment elevation which is part of the LVB and also the T wave upright T waves in uh, lead V1 and V2 and even V3. So this is the usual pattern of uh, the left bundle branch block in lateral leads and the first three precordial leads that uh, here uh, this is a discordant ST segment depression and T wave inversion and here there is a discordant ST cell segment elevation and uh, upright T waves uh, which are uh, basically the part of the left bundle branch block and not due to ongoing ischemia. So uh, these ST changes they can mask the ischemic changes secondary to an acute uh, MI so there was a need of creating a criteria that how we may be able to identify that in the setting of this LVB uh, there is an ongoing ischemia. So uh, a Scarboza criteria was first developed and uh, and it basically it was developed in 1996 round and it stated that basically it included three points. Uh, first point is that if there is concordant ST elevation in those leads which have a positive QRS complex, it will be given five points like in lead 1 AVL V5 V6 uh, the QRS complex is positive and if this is the QRS complex and ST elevation is present there like well, just suppose this is uh, this one is lead 1 AVL V5 or 6 and there is an ST elevation it will be given 5 points and the second parameter was if there is concordant ST depression in the leads uh, where the QRS complex is in negative direction like V1, V2 and V3 it will be given three points like in these leads usually it is something like this. This is the QRS complex and this is discordant ST segment elevation but it if it becomes like this, this, this is the S wave and here there is a ST depression it will be given three points. Now coming to the third parameter which is uh, a discordant ST elevation but more than 5 millimeters. Suppose this is V1, V2 or V3 and here there is an ST elevation which is already present which is already uh, a feature of LVB itself but if it is more than 5 millimeter it may be considered uh, due to the ongoing ischemia and uh, this is given 2 points. So first 
the concordant ST elevations in QRS positive QRS complex leads, if it's if that is present, five points. If uh, concordant ST depression is present in the leads which have a negative QRS complex, still will given three points. And if discordant excessively uh, large ST ele elevation more than five millimeter is present, it will be given two points. So, if uh, there are three or more than three points, if the ECG achieves three or more than three points, it is considered as an equivalent to acute myocardial infarction or acute uh, 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 STEMI equivalent. One thing we must keep in mind, if, uh, if the LBB is new onset and it is associated with typical signs and symptoms of the uh, myocardial infarction. So, we do not uh, apply Scarborough criteria at that moment because uh, it is new onset and the new onset LBB is always pathologic and it should be considered as MI equivalent. So, this was a discussion of uh, the scar boza criteria and later on just to uh, just to refine this criteria there was another criteria implemented that was called a modified scar boza criteria and it has all the features of the sky scar boza criteria except for the st discordant ST elevation which was previously considered in Scarboza criteria as more than 5 millimeter, but in modified Scarboza criteria it stated that if this ST elevation, uh, <coughs> the amplitude of this ST elevation is more than 25 percent of the S wave present which is this, the S wave present in the QRS complex. If this ST elevation is more than 25 percent uh, the amplitude of the S wave. Now, this will be uh, given as two points. So, uh, because the need of this criteria was because there are ECGs with different voltages and uh, just to refine this parameter it was uh, pr introduced, this criteria was introduced. Now, uh, let us go to the ECG for just to elaborate it. So, these are the findings of uh, different parameters that I have discussed that you can see in uh, the first image in which there is concordant ST elevation and this basically this is this denotes to the QRS complex in lead 1 AVL or V5 or V6 where there is a not upright R wave. Uh, and uh, there is a concordant ST elevation that is uh, marked by the red arrows. In the next figure, there is discordant ST elevation more than 5 millimeters, and if it's pre it is present, it will be given uh, two points, and then again, there is a discordant, sorry, concordant ST depression in lead V1, V2, and V3. If this is present, uh, it will be given three points. In case of the concordant ST elevation, that the concordant actually means in the same direction of the QRS complex, and discordant actually means in the opposite side of the QRS complex. So, so in case of the concordant ST elevation, it must be the concordant ST elevation must be more than one millimeter and in it's in one and AVL and the others features should be in V1, V2 and V3.